Hi, I'm Andy Cranston. In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy the running configuration from a Cisco switch, this one, onto a TFTP server. OK, I've plugged my switch back into my network and I'm now going to log into it. I've got a user called admin defined on it. The name of the switch is C2950-07. Enter the password to log into the switch. I then issue the enable command to get me to a privilege mode. Issue the enable password. Now I can run an iOS command show run to show me the current configuration. And I can type exit to log out. And that's just logged out. Over in this window, on a different machine running OpenBSD, I've got a TFTP server running. It's running into the directory user local TFTP boot, which I'm currently in. And if I do a listing, there are no files in there at present. If I go back onto this host, I've got a script called config2tftp.exp. Uh, before I run that script, I'm going to have to set up a couple of environment variables with passwords. The first one is spass, which is the password I use to log into the switch. I'm also going to set up an environment variable called epass for the enable password and put in the enable password there. I'm now going to run the config to TFTP script. I need to tell it the name of the switch to log into, the IP address of the TFTP server that's running in that other window, and the username to log in as. This then automates a SSH session. It automates the login process, gets me to the uh, privilege prompt, issues this command here. This is the command we need to copy the configuration to TFTP server in Cisco iOS. And if I go back onto my TFTP server, do another listing, and we've got the a file has appeared there. And if we take a look at it, it's the configuration of that switch. And that's how it's done. Your Cisco switches might require a slightly different sequence of login steps, but the underlying scripts can be modified to easily accommodate this. If you have any questions, then please get in touch. Thank you for watching.